In recent years, scientific research has revolutionized our understanding of how lifestyle choices impact our health, longevity, and resilience. The human body is remarkably adaptable, constantly responding to environmental signals that influence our gene expression and cellular function. This fascinating interplay between our daily habits and our biology holds the key to not just living longer, but living better. Modern science has revealed that certain forms of controlled stress, whether through exercise, dietary patterns, or environmental exposure, can actually strengthen our bodies through a process called hormesis. This concept, along with our growing understanding of gene expression and practical habit formation, provides a roadmap for optimizing our health and longevity. Let's explore these evidence-based insights and learn how to apply them in our daily lives. Well, it's, it's not having food in your mouth for most of the day. Mm -hmm. It's running and lifting things, right? We know these are good for us. Now, now I'm telling you why. Uh, and I can tell you about the genes involved too. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, you can also change the temperature of your body. That also puts a bit of a shock in your body. It's called, horm the whole thing is called hormesis. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yes. And you know that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you become resilient and long lived. Okay. And uh, otherwise, if you're always having the abundance, tons of amino acids and meat, your body says, hey, this is great. I don't need to do anything but build, build, build. You'll have, you know, a, a pretty good body. Let me explain this fascinating concept of hormesis in more detail. It's a biological phenomenon where small amounts of stress actually trigger protective responses in our bodies. When we exercise, fast, or expose ourselves to temperature variations, our cells activate survival pathways that boost our resilience repair mechanisms, and longevity genes. This is backed by numerous studies showing how controlled stress can enhance everything from cellular repair to immune function. Um, by the way, you can still have a good body in this. It's just, you know, you'll, you'll be a little bit leaner, maybe 5% mm -hmm. you know, less bulky. But here, it's like burning the candle at both ends. We are always in a state of, I got so much food, screw it. I don't need to worry about protecting my body. I'm gonna have kids for the next five years replace myself, and then I can be out of here. Whereas my mode of doing it, the adversity mimetic is, the thought that my body has is, oh crap, if I have kids right now, they might die. I need to stick around until food comes back, or the mammoth goes away and doesn't chase mm -hmm. me every day. Right. And so you stick around for longer. So you can get a couple of decades longer by doing what I do versus that. On average, everyone's different. This evolutionary perspective perfectly illustrates how our bodies adapt to environmental challenges. When we create controlled stress through lifestyle choices, we activate ancient survival mechanisms that promote longevity and health. Let's look at some practical ways to implement these principles. Sure. But just doing the five main things that doctors tell you, and we all know are good, like don't smoke, don't ever drink, uh, eat good food, so Mediterranean kind of diet, mm -hmm. um, sleep well and don't stress out and have friends. Those things are enough to give you an average of 14 years. Oh my gosh. That's just the easy stuff. Because what's the average lifespan now for uh, a man or a woman in the U.S.? Went down, dipped a little bit with COVID, but it's around uh, late 70s. Late so, 70s, yeah. yeah. And so you're saying if you have those five things at a great level, then it could go an extra 5, 10, 14 years, what you're saying. Oh, easy. Easily. So that's just the easy stuff. I haven't taught, told you about the science and all of the stuff that I'm doing. That's just the basics, the that's foundation. The basic. And then what are a few things that he's going to say, man, I really wish you wouldn't do that right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So um, let's see. So, I'm, so I, I measure myself so I can speak scientifically, not just that it mm -hmm. makes me feel good. Uh, it's the, the one meal, one main meal a day. He would be grateful for. I'm sure of it. And, and as a result, I'm leaner and, uh, you know, more ripped. Uh, I hate you to say look, that word. You look lean. I am lean. You look really lean. Yeah. I, mean, I need to go back to the gym and do a little yeah. bit more. Um, so the one meal a day. But you weren't doing one meal a day, what, five, ten years ago? No, I only started during the pandemic. Um, yeah, this is new for me, too. It's hard, actually. When you begin, Very hard. you feel hungry because you've got those crashes that make you really hungry and you've got this and um, hormone called ghrelin that makes you hungry. But once you get through that, it takes about three weeks. Mm -hmm. So anyone who, who tries it, make sure that you don't give up early. Just power through and then mm -hmm. you, your liver will wake up. One main meal a day. Let me explain a bit more about ghrelin as it's fascinating from a scientific perspective. Often called the hunger hormone, 
Ghrelin is produced primarily in your stomach and plays a crucial role in appetite regulation. Research has shown that ghrelin levels typically rise before meals and fall after eating, following your usual eating pattern. When you switch to one meal a day, your body gradually adapts by resetting these hormonal rhythms. Studies have demonstrated that this adaptation can lead to improved metabolic flexibility and better hunger control over time. So that's one. Um, the other thing I, I think that he will be happy is don't eat sugary foods. Oh, man. Yeah. Don't, don't eat that cake. Mm. So at, at a restaurant, when they said you want dessert, I always say no but then I'm hoping that someone at the table orders what bite. I want. <laughs> yeah, it, that's all, but that's all, you, all I need. Right. I need to taste right. it. I don't right. need to fill myself with a cake. Gotcha. Because um, you still want to enjoy your life and live a full life, but yeah. you don't want to, in 10 years, be like, why do they eat cake every day? It's not worth it. Yeah. Really. Uh, your future self will thank you for it. Mm. Now, let's shift our focus from dietary choices to physical activity, another crucial pillar of longevity. While nutrition sets the foundation, movement and resistance training create a powerful synergistic effect on our health and longevity genes. Um, lifting weights, I know you do that, so I, I need to do more of that. I, I got a standing desk, uh, so most of the day I'm standing, which is great. Again, you have to get used to it. You'll feel tired for the first few weeks. Yes. Uh, your legs will. Uh, I'm now mostly focused on eating plants. I mean, mm -hmm. When I did you start that, that? That's recently. Speaking of plant-based eating, the scientific evidence supporting its benefits for longevity is compelling. Research published in leading medical journals has shown that people who consume more plant-based foods typically live longer, healthier lives. This is largely due to the unique combination of antioxidants, fiber, and phytochemicals found in plants that work together to reduce inflammation throughout the body. Studies have demonstrated that plant-rich diets can lower the risk of heart disease by up to 25%, reduce inflammatory markers in the blood, and even slow down cellular aging processes. The blue zones, regions where people consistently live past 100, all share one common factor. Their diets are predominantly plant-based. These populations show remarkably low rates of chronic diseases and maintain better cognitive function well into their later years. Let me wrap up by emphasizing the incredible power you hold to transform your health and extend your lifespan through these evidence-based strategies. Whether it's adopting time-restricted eating, embracing plant-based foods, or incorporating regular movement into your day, each small change compounds over time to create profound effects on your biology. Remember, longevity isn't just about adding years to your life. It's about adding life to your years. The science is clear, the path is laid out, and the choice is yours. Start implementing these changes today. Be patient with the process and trust that your future self will thank you for every healthy decision you make. Your journey to a longer, healthier life begins with the very next choice you make. Make it count.